What we're talking about is a beaked bait holder hook. Uh, it follows on from the rest of the hooks that I was talking about. It's a very unique hook in that it's got a short shank, quite a long point, and it's got a bent back eye. Okay, the bent back eye is very pronounced. What this hook is ideally used for is for snelling purposes. Um, it's an excellent hook for sliding, an excellent hook for throwing with a dangle, and of course if you live bait fishing, you snell that. The guys overseas in New Zealand catch a lot of snapper using this hook over here. Very, very popular overseas. Okay, what I've done is I've tied on a hoodlum. Um, I'm just gonna show you how to snell this hook once again. We basically just go through the eye, bring it down to where we want it to actually sit. So it must probably be about there. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna wrap it back six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then go through the back of the eye. That is the important part. Just let that go there. Go through the back of the eye and pull tight. And that's basically how that hook would actually sit on a trace. Now whether it's wire or nylon, it doesn't make a difference. It's easy to snell. It's a very, very good hook. Like I said, it's got a long shank. Um, it's got a long point on it, small barb, bent back eye, and it's very pronounced. I've snelled it. I've put a hoodlum on. This is more for long distance casting, the trace that I'm putting up together or what I'm showing you now. Small eye of the dangle goes over. You would attach your bait to that and tie on your hoodlum hook. And that's basically how the whole thing, the whole system would actually sit together and throw. But as you can see, there's the hook, that's how it's snelled, and that's how we'd actually do it.